Hello everyone, today we are going to create a 3D profile for exercise number one with SketchUp software. Okay, first you need you can use template in millimeter. The next I will use measurement tools to create the guide. Okay, I will click from this green axis into here, the next right axis. And then we can click from this point to right axis into 700, 7000. And then you can use scroll mouse to zoom and zoom in. You also can press shift button, hold and press scroll mouse to use pen. The next we can create again from uh, this point into green axis. We can set into 5000. And then from this point into here, we can set into 4000. And from this point to the top, we can set into 3000. The next you can use line command you can click here line from this point okay click in here and the next you can click at this point to connect and now in here we can use pull tools to extrude this face to the top you can set into 100 and now i will use measurement tools again to select from uh, this edge move into this point we can set into 1500 and then from this point to here you can set into 150 and so that will undo you can select from this guide to the red uh, axis into 150 okay now you can use offset tools you can click here offset select at this space Okay, I will offset into 150 and you can press enter. Use pull tools to pull at this face to the top. You can set into 2500. The next, we can create a rectangle. Okay, you can click start from this point. You can move into this point. And then in here, we can use pull tools again to extrude uh, this face. You can double click you can click in you can double click you can click at this first and move into this point okay now you can use uh, erase tools to erase at uh, this edge and also in here the next we can use uh, line tools i will create line from this point but again in here Okay, the next we can create at this point. Now you can use pull tools. We can move at this space to the bottom, like uh, 150, and you can press enter. Next you can use erase tool again to erase uh, these lines or edge. Click at this point. Okay, it's done. And now I will use measurement tools to measurement from this point to the green axis 150 The next from this point into red axis 1000 Okay, use uh, rectangle tools, we can create rectangle in here from this point into here And then from this point into this point Use pull tools to cut uh, these objects also in here Okay, you can select at uh, this line and you can press delete button also in the button here you can press delete okay now in here we can delete all guides you can click edit and delete guides the next i will insert furniture into this uh, floor plans you can get all furniture from uh, this uh, exercise in a uh, link description okay you can click files and the next click import you can use first i will set door okay on door you can click import and then you can move you can select this object click move tool select from this point you can move into this uh, middle point okay i will triple click this objects and i will change into my group so it will be become group we insert again another furniture okay i will set into this furniture bedroom door 
and then you can use a rotate command select this objects click a rotate tools that will rotate into this point and now we can move from a middle point we can move into this point okay the next you can double click this object and then we can use pull tools select at this space we can move into here another at this point select at this space move into this point and then you can click outside okay it will be connect between walls and uh, door the next you can insert windows in uh, this area you can click file import and in here I will use uh, this leading door I'll import okay, we're waiting to import the models you can click at uh, this point the next you can rotate uh, this object from uh, this point okay you can rotate into here and then we can move uh, this object we can click move tools select from uh, middle point in the top here Okay, you can move into this point middle point and then you can move into blue axis in here you can set into 300 and then you can move into green axis into here okay it's done the next we can edit wall you can double click in this objects and then i will use a rectangle tools you can create a rectangle in here now use a pull tools to create hole and then we can select from bottom here into this point okay click again from this point into here and then from this point into this point okay the next uh, in the top here you can create a rectangle okay, in uh, right axis we can pull into this point and now in here we can pull again from top view into this point make sure to connect in uh, this window okay the next you can use erase tools you can erase this uh, edge and now i will click outside to close and then you can select this object window use move tools we can move in green axis I will move into this point and then you can click it's done the next so we can insert again for bedroom in here we can click file import and then we can attach for toilet seat import okay, we're waiting to import the models and now I will click at this point. You can use uh, rotate tools, or you can click at this point. You can rotate into this point, 90 degree, and then we can move into right axis. Okay, and then move again into green axis. Okay, the next we can insert shower. Click files, import, and I will use uh, this uh, object shower and waiting to import uh, the models okay i will apply flash at uh, this point for shower okay this is enough the next we can import again for machine was machine click at this point and then you can click in plus here you can rotate into 90 degree and then you can move into right axis the next we can move in uh, green axis Okay, import again. Next, uh, furniture we can use a cloth uh, basket. I will place at this point for cloth basket. Okay, and then you can put it. Next, you can move. Okay, and then move again in green axis. Okay, it's done. Now in here we can insert for bed, we can click files, imports, 
prepare for bed import again okay now i will place at uh, this point the next we can import another object like a uh, backspace or table i will place at uh, this area okay you can click at this point and then next you can move in to going axis now we can insert or import carpet import and then we can place in uh, this area for carpet okay you can click at uh, this point the last object we can import for clutters can import we're waiting to insert uh, the models and now we can touch at uh, this point you can move again these uh, objects into green axis so we can place in uh, this area you can click from this point and move in a uh, green axis and then you can move in a uh, red axis a bit okay you can click offset you already insert this uh, all models into floor plan the next if you want to apply texture in uh, this wall you can select and you can click select in here you can select like in here we can set into color okay you can set color like you can set up this color click and then can click at this object so it will be automatically changed you also can uh, double click in here and then you can select at this face the next you can select for material texture like you can use tile in here okay like we can use uh, this uh, basic tile select at this face so it will be automatically correct and then you also can edit click here the next you can edit like for size into 900 is for 900 and you can change also change for rotation this uh, texture you can right click and it can click texture the next click position use this tools to rotate you can rotate into this point okay the next you can press enter to close and then it will be automatically rotated okay we already create this uh, simple 3d models for exercise number one how to create a 3d floor plan in sketchup and if you have any question about this tutorial you can comment below this video